The audio is audible. Let's see. Defensive back is going to have more impact than a receiver. You're going to have to fight for every catch. Uh, QB is the player. I love how QB the uh, quarterback. ads yeah. totally work on Twitch. Hey, we should answer the show. What if you're up against the nasty secondary? Or cover three love these, love these here, functional the ads. Uh, I love how the uh, ads Make Madden totally work Rock on even Twitch. harder. Pre order Madden yeah. NFL 16 and get $15 of Live Nation concert cash only at GameStop. Play, trade, save, repeat. Rated E for Oh, fuck. In GameStop ads. Yeah, yeah. Well, the worst part was that it wasn't even showing the ad. But anyway, seems like we have uh, audio. Like the the ad window didn't load, but the ad audio did. So it's showing the stream, but with ad audio. Oh, that's beautiful. All right. I was gonna tell you to bring the arcade stick. Boom. Okay. Anyway, we got a stream. I have it now. Uh, have the video paused. And if you want to introduce yourself under the pail. Yes. I am under the pail. Uh, back again for the third time, I guess. Yeah, uh, yeah I believe this is the third Yeah, third time. And there's a very specific reason why I decided to bring you in this time. Because I went out and bought more games. Uh-oh. No, no, this is this is a non uh oh kind of thing. Oh, can you do you still have a uh, uh, video? Just uh, it. no signal. No signal. Well, if you have a video of no signal, we're good. Ah, it's a PlayStation game. Yes. But what is it? Sony Computer Entertainment presents Sony Computer Entertainment presents Oh Yes oh, Son of a bitch You I went actually to, did it I went ahead and bought Jet Moto uh, two and three and oh, we'll start Mountain with Dew. two I forgot about the fucking Mountain Dew. I didn't it's actually it's on the cover of Jet Moto three, but yes, there's the Mountain Dew mobile. From played by the Max, Vampira, okay. Okay. Ski. Oh, wow, that. <laughs> a jet ski brand, not jet ski. Good times. The Hun. Ah, also Mountain Dew. Little Dave. Wild Ride, also jet ski brand. I like the I like the comic art. That was one of the other things that made me want to get Jet Moto Two. I know three has bad CG attempts at anime. No, no, this is this is very distinctive, I guess I could say, American-style comic art, which at the time, Single Track was actually very good at. Yep, uh, let's start doing a, a full season. Let's see what happens. I've ch picked, uh, picked Mountain Dew Girl. Because that seems like the, the right way to go. <laughs> it's just... Mountain Dew. This is... Oh, continue buttons up. Let's see what happens. Let's go. Look out! Ah. I have no clue why I slipped off my, my bike there. But we are certainly in a gorge. It, uh... Looks gorgeous. Uh, uh, ow. Yeah, I am. I am the best at this game. Wow, you, you, Jell, have you even read the manual? No, right? You just jumped into this, right? I did. I very well, much did. Well, first of all, if you keep doing that, I'm going to leave because my God, it's going to be painful to watch you do this. <laughs> I don't. I don't entirely know what I'm doing. These are, oh, wow. Okay, Do this not is... keep putting your jet ski hor horizontal like that. 
stop taking the turn so so rough. My my god, did you do you just have the 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 accelerator just all the way down? Is that just how you play racing games? Yeah. You've been playing too much Mario Kart. <laughs> This is a racing game where you can't just hold the accelerator. Lessons Most racing have... games are like that, Joe. Most None that I've played. <laughs> Every single racing game I've ever played has been hold down the accelerator, water breaks. I mean, shoot, Jack X in particular is like you accelerate, and if you have trouble controlling, you double accelerate. Yeah, no, um, <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, it, 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 Look, this is my first time ever playing Jet Moto. Uh, th okay, this is very okay, new bit. Oh, okay, wow. okay, <laughs> ugh. It, it's just, it's just, I can't help but think you've been playing really shit racing games, if, if that's the case, because back when I was still playing racing games, you actually had to let go of the accelerator once in a while. Oh, jeez. Yeah, when you... Ooh. You know, like like you would in a real car. Yes, yeah, like you would in a real car. No, no, I have, I play a lot of things where I uh, where I hold the accelerator. It, it, it usually works out for me. Not so much here. <laughs> not so much no, here. No, very clearly not. The power of Mountain Dew is not saving you. Clearly, you have not. Uh... I'm not extreme enough. Yeah, you, you, you have you have you have displeased the Dorito Pope. I have displeased the Dorito Pope. Actually, I don't think there's any Doritos in this one, but there are in the third one. I, so I wow, so so wow, that, that game was the Dorito Pope before the Dorito Pope. Okay. Yeah, yeah, no, no, this this is uh apparently that's how Jet Moto is. Ow, I don't. I need to figure out how to actually rotate the the thing. Well, it's, oh, oh, hello, shoulder buttons. How are you today? I didn't know you did something. Oh wow, I, I almost landed that. That's good. That's very good. Okay, so shoulder buttons are. Oh jeez, oh jeez. There's a lot of shoulder fiddling in this game. Yep. That's uh, mine. I don't remember. It's been. I don't remember clearly. It's been like over a decade since I played this game, but yeah, this game is actually a little particular. Yeah, yeah, um, looks like the shoulder buttons are for, uh, your rider, okay, and both the, I was afraid that L1 and L2 did completely different things, no, any of the shoulder buttons are your rider's lead. So you use that, okay, okay, now I'm starting to get into the Jet Moto group, this is a it's yeah, a I, very different kind of racing game. Yeah, you gotta lean into turns. Um, I maybe it'll come back to me. All I remember is my brother was very good at this. He had sort of a Zen mastery at the game. Indeed, I've at least made it back to third place. No, no, no. Actually, you're not doing terribly, but the AI is actually pretty anemic at this point. Oh, no, okay. that was not okay. That was not terrible. You'll do better next time. I will do better now that I know how buttons work. And I think it's I think it's a season where yeah I, I think you get yeah you get points so yeah yeah we will we will see how this goes and I like how I like how I get to see the picture for the winner regardless of who the winner is and uh, oh. DFL Holta, you always slow down when you make turns in a lot of racing games, even Super Mario Kart and Super Circuit. Same with F Zero. Like you let go of the XL. Well, yes, I'm well aware of that. I just generally haven't needed to in a very long time. Usually, because there's a actually. Oh, oh, okay, boundaries. Yes. Um. Oh, this is a switchback course. Be very careful. Oh, 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 what? Oh, jeez. This, uh, is that, sh that is Chef Boyardee! Alright! I am okay oh. with Chef Boyardee sponsored racing. What the hell? I forgot about this. How did I forget? How did I forget about the Mountain Dew and the Chef Boyardee? Maybe it's just been 15 fucking years. Yeah. It's been, because it's been 15 fucking years. I 
I feel so old and it's awkward. Well, I, I hear that I'm old. I don't feel old. That's the problem. <laughs> what do you mean you hear you're old? Well, people, people keep telling me that I'm like 30 or something. I don't believe them. Ooh. Yeah, no, I, uh, well, I'm 37, so. Oh, wow. What, you didn't know that? I did not know that! I assumed you were like 32. I was 32 when we met. Ah! In fact, I may have time. actually, I, I may have even been younger than that. We've known each other a while. This is true, this is true. Uh, <laughs> wow. You're one, of the, you're one of the few people I've managed not to kill. Yeah, yeah, that's true, that's true. <laughs> but yeah, no, this is, this, this is a switchback... Uh, there's like at least two or three switchbacks in the game uh, where you have to go, where you have to not fall off your bike and basically do the center part um, in a relay. Uh, this means that not only do you have to deal with the obstacles, but the oncoming uh, bikers as well. Yeah, yeah, wow, this is, uh, this is brutal. I haven't had to deal with a course like this. This is so different from any other racing game I've That's ever played. That's because you've spent the last decade or so playing shit racing games. I am Jack really going to argue that. I will argue that all day. I don't think they were shit. But I think they were uh, not jet mode. This is... Woo! Ow. Oh, jeez. Checkpoint. Yeah, see, I was... That last lap of the previous thing, I figured I had found my button to where I didn't need to let go of the accelerator. And then this course happens. Jet Moto is teaching me all sorts of lessons. I'm... I'm, I'm learning. Oh! Oh! Okay, that was a little too sharp. As a random side note, there is apparently a fourth unreleased Jet Moto that was completed and has been leaked. Uh, it was from the Jet Moto 3 developers, and I think supposedly they were working on it before 3 or during 3, and it was... Actually, that's the thing that makes it even more baffling. It is a futuristic Jet Moto, and I find that funny because... Jet Moto. We're already in the future. We're already in the future. But now it's even more future. And then there was another one uh, that was... They were going to do a PS2 Jet Moto, but of course that never happened. It was like... I think that one was called Jet Moto Solar. I did research. Huh. Well, I remember liking this game. I remember liking Single Track, but like I said, it was 15 years ago. I was young. I had more hair. Yeah. Um, I spent a lot of time playing games with my brother, and as I explained before, uh, there were certain games where I was consistently better than him, and certain games where he just absolutely annihilated me. Racing games was one of them. Mm -hmm. Oh, this, this looks good. Oh, this is probably where I, I... I don't know what's going on with this course. This looks like an evil course. Yeah, it's kind of evil. It was... I believe it was my brother and I's favorite course, actually. Oh, good lord, no! Okay, good, good, good. We can... We can race on the water. That's right. They're yeah, no, no. It's faster if you manage to get onto the pieces of the expressway, uh, because at least then you can kind of just ramp and keep your acceleration. But you don't have to. Uh, that's actually something that's very interesting and different about this game is that there's a lot of things in the courses that you can do. You don't necessarily have to do. Like it would have been faster if you'd managed to get up the expressway, but you don't have to do it. Yes. Well, like like there where you were able to go up on on the lower route. Yeah, you can do that. Uh, going up on the higher route is faster, but going up on the lower route is possible. It doesn't make you fall off if you uh, you know if you miss a particular jump, nor do you instantly fall into last place like there was in that uh, Jet X Two O. I was about to say X Two O game. Yes. Oh, that was, that was mean. 
That was an experience. Yeah, I, you know what? It still it still plays pretty good, but yeah, I, that course is made of stupid and evil, and it's <laughs> it's pretty uh, it's a little game busting there. They they had the right idea though. Okay, okay. Whoa, whoa. Uh. Yeah. The uh, jumps in this game can be a little perilous since you really have to line yourself up. I kind of wish you were rewarded for landing them like an excite truck, but I guess the reward for landing them is not falling on your face. Pretty much. So anyway, speaking of experiences, there's while I'm watching you play this, I'm feeling a little nostalgic. So this Oh yeah, and you can wipe out on the checkpoints. I vaguely remember that and that was always one of my least favorite parts about this game. Yeah, learning Getting that big way. air and then smashing your face in against a checkpoint or the finish I, line. I am good at that. That is starting to become my signature move. Smashing face first into things is one of the things you were always best at, Joe. Darn right! It's like it's like I said on on your live journal a long time ago. Gra let let me explain it to you. Grass grows, birds fly, sun shines. Brother, gel runs into walls. Run into walls like a boss. Yeah. Hey hey hey! If, 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 boss. If if you're if you're good at it, go with it. One anyway. day I will land on that highway, but today is not that day. My brother was good at it, I think, but my brother was good at a lot of things that I wasn't. I, I would show my brother these streams, but he'll probably come back to me with, Justin, what are you doing with your life? And my response would only be, wasting it. <laughs> yep. That's <sighs> what we do. But anyway, uh, like I said, this is making me nostalgic, so let me tell you the story of when my brother and I went halves on the PlayStation 2. Mm -hmm. I believe this would be back in 2003. Um... And he was working in the afternoon, and I was off that day. It was a Thursday, I believe in August. This is uh, significant. How the balls am I in first place? I might win this. You might. I don't know how the balls you're in first place, but... Anyway, uh, so here we were. Um, we went to the Sam's Club uh, near where we live, and we went halves on a PlayStation 2. How the hell did you get first place? I guess everyone else missed the highway too. We we went we went halves on a PlayStation 2 and we got a bunch of games including uh, Mystic Heroes and Shinobi 2 uh, Shinobi PS2, but I won't get into that right now. But um but we set it up. My brother goes to work. So I'm sitting there. I get through the first stage of Shinobi uh, PS2. I get through the first stage and I'm going through the second oh, stage, and I'm actually kind of getting into it. I I haven't encountered any of the problems yet. Ninja Dogs are still a stage or so into the future. So, all of a sudden, the power goes out. And I'm sitting there. And I'm holding the controller, and I think it's a brownout. So I wait for the power to come back. I'm waiting a minute or two, it doesn't. Put the controller down. I'm sitting there like, you know, five minutes, just kind of chilling out, waiting for the power to come back. It doesn't. I hear Wait my next door neighbor come over, and I go downstairs, and I was like, I'm sorry, is this a blackout? It's a blackout, right? Turns out it wasn't just any blackout. It was the blackout in 2003 that wiped out the entire East Coast. Ah! So I went halves on a PlayStation 2 on the day of the blackout. The, the great blackout of 2003. The one that, that wiped out everything from, like, Chicago to, to Boston, I think. Wait, did that... I thought I... Did I accidentally leave the season? It looks like you did. Back to the slick rock chords. That's where we started, right? 
Guy was complaining that frames were being dropped, so I'm researching that. I've got the continue button up now. Yeah, no, um, I am sorry to say, but it looks like the problem is, in fact, on your end, DFL Holta. Uh, Hoda. Oh, good, we've got... Oh, wait, the two other viewers are me and you, aren't they? <laughs> I was gonna uh... say, we've got two other viewers, and... No, no, well, I'm not viewing, so the two other viewers are you and somebody else. Okay, well, someone else is watching. I'm getting, like, four seconds of UTP story for every ten seconds. Yeah, it's... it's... you. Yeah. Just check. Oh! Yeah, Daniel, your computer sucks. Even your new computer sucks. Well, Flash kind of sucks sometimes, especially depending on what you're, what you're streaming with. No, no, no. His his computer sucks because his computer's always sucked. <laughs> uh, okay, that was race aborted. Well, yay! At least I came in first once. That was certainly some Jet Moto 2. Um, let's find out what 3 is like. Oh boy, you got that too? Yeah, yeah, I bought them both. I wanted to know. I was, uh, I was very curious. I'm like, hmm. I know they're different. Um, I could not get a clear answer on which one was better or at which one was worse. So... I just grabbed both. Was like, Let's oh yeah, it. and and actually, actually, for what it's worth, uh, you probably want to go back to Jet Moto Two at some point. But I remember one of the switchback courses may have been Roller Side, and Roller Side is Roller Side is a thing. <laughs> Indeed. Indeed, I probably uh, will. I'll pro I'll I just... spent I spent more time off the track than on it, but uh, that. Um, that that was because I sucked at Jet Moto too. So, yeah, going into uncharted territory. Oh yeah, that's right. Jet Moto Three supports analog sticks. Uh. <laughs> yeah, Jet Jet Moto Three was like pretty late. Also, I can't see that logo without thinking of Busted Groove. Yeah, yeah. This was 1999, so this was when the Dreamcast was around. It's by Pacific Coast Power and Light. Oh God, nine eight nine. No, nine eight nine did all the jet motos, I think, didn't they? Don't they have one on here? Oh no, no, it was. No, 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 Gel, you don't remember? Nine eight nine was the Sony in-house. I didn't know they were Sony in-house. They were a Sony in-house when Sony couldn't rely on people to make the games that Sony needed to exist. They 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 snatched them up and gave them to 989 Studios. Oh, this is some uh this is some CG attempted animu. Good. Oh god. I'm I'm just soaking I'm this in. I'm pretty sure 989 was... I, I thought 989 was just a publisher. Uh, well, okay, maybe I'm remembering wrong, but... I, I remember there was, uh... I remember Sony was farming a lot of uh, shit out to 989 Sports. Oh. Yeah? She's got 989 on her tits, okay. Yeah. I... I I, I think you might owe me an apology, but we'll we'll research this and find out later. <laughs> Why would I? Okay. Uh, no, no, no. I, I'm just I'm just curious as to the snap into a slim gym. Oh yeah. Um, what the fuck? The product placement got worse. Oh yeah. In the previous one, it just shows a general like Jet Moto thing, 
little hover bike on the cover of Jet Moto 2. Jet Moto 3 shows you the Mountain Dew bike right on the cover. Like I said, this is the one that does feature Doritos. Alright, let's go. One player. I got that guy, that guy. Dorito Lady. I might play as Dorito Lady. Slim Jim! <laughs> His name's Convict. There we go. We do have names for the people. Angel is representing 989 all over. Technician, Kawasaki, Spirit, Pacific Coast, Power and Light. Wild Ride, Body Glove. Tetsujin. I don't know what VSI is. Vampira, that dragon logo again. The Max! Ah, the Max is Mountain Dew. I, I want to soak in that Mountain Dew bike just a minute. Yeah. Okay. Fine then. Dorito Bomber! I'll do single. Why not? Or season. Let's do a season. Let's go. Jet Moto 3, how do you compare? Season let's, select. Let's Notice. find out. Oh, jeez. The past antivirus is words at me. There we go. Hey, we got four people watching. Hello, everyone. Uh, well, one of those people is me. Ah, oh, that would explain the boost. Thank you for watching, Under the Pale. Yeah, there, there's you. There's this New Jersey City. And myself. And it looks like Dan left. Probably to update his flash. Okay, okay, this is fast. This is really, really fast. Whoa. Is... Holy shit. What the fuck? Too fast. Too fast. Gotta go fast. Okay, I think I see what they did here. Oh, jeez. I'm kind of okay with this. I think they took away the ability to fall off your uh, vehicle, and they made it faster. Woo! And they made... The, the tracks are certainly wider, but they need to be, because... Oh! Oh! You go fast! You gotta go fast! Whee! Woo! <laughs> Holy shit. Well, I, I'll definitely... Was this a PlayStation game? This was still PlayStation 1. Yes, this is still PlayStation 1. PS2 oh. was not out yet. Dreamcast was. 1999. Well... Holy shit. This actually looks really good. I mean, I know there were some really good uh, looking PlayStation games, but this actually looks pretty good so far. Yeah, no, no, this looks pretty nice. I like the way they did these environments. I'm totally cool with you don't fall. <laughs> See, this is the one that works with me. I can just hold the accelerator and slam and it. This is, the... That's why I say you've been playing shit racing games, because they're one where you just hold down the accelerator and don't ever let go. That that strikes me as a shit way to make a driving game because uh, it's like that that's not how you drive a car. So why would it be how you race? I don't. Maybe I'm just being cranky. It could be. Woo! Oh jeez! Woo! Okay, you can fall off, but I I I'm gonna say they, they made got it a mag lot harder. Apparently, they made it a lot harder. I'm still on Dorito Power. What you gonna do? Oh! Woo! Woo! Wee you! I appreciate the arrow as well. Yeah! Oh! Whoa! <laughs> okay, this is... Jeez, you, you, you <laughs> almost did an extreme kayaking there falling out of the map. Extreme kayaking? Well, yeah, I don't know, or something like that. There, It, it was an unreleased N64 uh, thing that... Um, it's a... It's, uh, prototype for some reason there's a tool assisted speed run on task videos it's actually mildly hilarious yeah that's apparently like something i need to watch yeah it, it is but everyone could stand to watch a lot more task videos because there's so much on it that's hilarious or bizarre or inexplicable yeah, that's breaks is that a boost oh yes we have boost power that was the last thing you want to give me in a game this fast. Yes, okay. I just found my jump button, my uh, break, which I'm never going to use, and a boost button. This is 
is, uh... This is going to get really interesting now. <laughs> Continue! Continue! Kumbu Ice Falls! Get serious altitude without leaving the ground. Water is all at... Water in all its forms will challenge your extreme skills. My extreme skills. Good, good. I'm glad my skills are extreme. Extreme. Well, nice to see they've really mixed up the designs from uh, from a Jet Moto 2. Jet Moto 2 had a uh, you racing along a river through a desert canyon and uh, and an ice level, and now we've got a ice level after racing through the desert canyon. Hmm. Mm. Well, you, you know, then, then again, then again, thinking about my brother, um, almost every RPG has an ice cave and a volcano, so... Almost everything has an ice cave and a volcano. Well, or, that's... Or at least they used to. I think Call of Duty could uh, benefit from some ice caves and volcanoes. Call oh. of Duty could benefit from many things. What the hell? I don't know! I don't you, know anymore! You, you, I'm just oh, going feeling. fast! Uh, you're driving on the ceiling. Oh, what a feeling! When we're driving on the ceiling! Uh, okay, I, I, I'm not sure if this is entirely good, but I'm having a blast with this. because I, I'm kind of enjoying watching you <laughs> fail at this. It's amazing. You see, you uh, say well, fail, but I'm in first place because I am going fast. Because, you see, what happened... Between the previous race and this one, is I have found the boost button, and I am using it, and it causes fun to happen. Woo! -hoo -hoo. I, I was about to say, what are brakes? Brakes are the opposite of what I need to push. Oh my god. If I'm god. having trouble driving, I just need to drive faster. You use the double <laughs> accelerator. <laughs> <laughs> now I can understand why you don't like driving. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh yeah, no, that's that's the thing. That, that's the other thing. In real life, I go very, very, very slow. Um, unfortunately slow. I probably piss off a lot of people on the road. That's why I try to stay off it. Oh, good. My boost got refilled. I thought I was going to run out. I thought maybe I only had one boost gauge for the whole race, but I've got more! So that means I can keep going fast! Yeah! Okay, I want to see a speed run of this. Oh, jeez, I'm in the air! I'm in the... Oh, missed checkpoint. Okay, I... <laughs> oh, oh, I see what's going on. Yeah, oh. don't, don't... Yeah, no, no, that, 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 that... Don't drive through that. This is a switchback course, it looks like. Not, not a switchback, but I jumped... There was a curve and a hole, and I tried to jump the hole and missed the curve. Ah. <laughs> yeah! And you're in first somehow. My God in heaven. When I'm going this fast, I better be in first. Gotta it's go fast. probably because you're on novice, but holy shit. This actually looks good. Maybe my brother never did play this, and I was just wanting to believe he did. Or maybe I know he we played, played it and it was just, like, too, a bit too fast? Because this is uh, daunting at first. Yeah, no, no, this, this, this is, this is like, it's either the game itself or the stream, but something can't keep up with how fast you're going. That's unsurprising. Yeah, I'm going pretty fast. <laughs> You're probably going a lot faster than the game wanted you to. Probably because they didn't think any idiot was just going to hold down on the boost button. Oh, the geez, whole there time. I go again. <laughs> yes, if the game one would just drive like me. Good, I can go over the checkpoint and it counts. Oh, oh, darn it, I ran out of boost. I can't, I can't gotta go fast anymore. There we go, race over, first place. I'm gonna check the stream. Physics is so bad. Fuck physics. I'll just check the stream, make sure make sure the stream is at least getting uh something that resembles a decent feed. 
Like, I know that, like, what the feed you're getting is going to be... Well, I can see the stream and it looks okay. Okay, good, good, good. Yeah, no, the, uh... The, the screen share generally tends to have a lower frame rate. But it updates faster. Yeah, no, no, we're, we're doing this. We're doing this. We're going, we're going to win this? We're going to win the Jet Moto. Oh, oh no, they might be making a suicide course where you'll s scream across streaming red hot molten lava at over 100 miles per hour. Not exactly a serene Pacific paradise. Oh, there was a gra oh, there was a grapple in this too. There were certain grapple That's points. Right, I heard something about that. How do I? I, I don't know. Yeah, you're 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 supposed to use that to make certain very hard turns. Right. And by hard, uh, by hard, I mean basically you swing the fuck around. Um, mm -hmm. I don't remember any details because, as I said, it's been 15 years, and uh, my memory has been dulled significantly by that. I remember Bushido Blade was fantastic. I remember Wild Arms was a revolution in RPGs. Um, left, right. Hard left. My uh, L2 and R2 magnetic grapple. Okay. My, uh... My god, our, uh... Rose-tinted glass is a fantastic thing. Mm -hmm. Oh, god, you're... This is, this is like, this is like the big rigs over-the-road racing of Jet Moto, because you're, you're not just like, what are brakes? You're like, what are walls? What are walls? What I are just, I drove over it, it was fine. That wasn't a wall, it was a jump! You have to know the difference! Woohoo! You're you're just you're just the living embodiment of of the phrase. Do you, do you see a mouse trap or free cheese in a fucking challenge? <laughs> just holy shit! Oh no, that wasn't a wall. It was a jump. No gel. It was a wall and really bad physics. Oh my god, this game. <laughs> and all the product placement. Oh wow! Dorito power. Yeah, and body glove. Body and glove and uh, and Slim Jim. And of course, Mountain Dew. Yeah, Mountain. I don't even know why I fell off there, but I fell off. I think you. I think it's because I wasn't checkpoint. boosting. If I just went faster, then the vehicle could have kept up with my body. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. There's nothing left but laughter. <laughs> Woohoo! Yeah! There's nothing left but laughter. Oh my god. <laughs> what is this game? This is what happens when you you take Oh no, oh no, I bowed I jumped backwards! <laughs> I hit the jump, you know, the straight vertical jump. And, uh, it sent me backwards. I jumped in the wrong direction. Oh, wow. <laughs> Get going! Oh! Woo! Woo! <laughs> My god. Up fourth to second. And then you're gonna suddenly magically be in first, because what are walls? <laughs> Our walls! A miserable little pile of secrets! A miserable little pile of bitmaps in this case, but... Yeah, that, 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 was, that was actually the PlayStation experience for me. Getting too close to, uh, to the walls in, uh, in early PlayStation titles and, and having this moment where I go, WTF, bitmaps? Final lap, okay. Because they didn't have textures, they had bitmaps. Yeah? I mean, I, I guess we could call that a texture, but it was more like oh, wallpaper. Geez. I've, oh, <laughs> oh dear. See, this, this <laughs> you jump... fell out of the world? No, no, they kept me in the world, but I peeked out of it. The, uh... The jump, it sent me in the wrong direction. 
you viewed over the edge of reality like something out of the 13th floor. <laughs> Holy shit, you're going too fast. <laughs> gotta go fast! I'm in third second! Third second checkpoint! Good! Good! Oh jeez, I'm, I'm out of boost. You can no longer go fast. Oh, I can go fast, just not fast enough. <laughs> oh, thank you. Each checkpoint gets me a little bit of... Darn it! <laughs> yeah, 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 and you, 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 wow, this, this game. This game. I will say, though, it's very, very smooth. It's... Uh, no, I, I wasn't even aware that that PlayStation could be this fast and this smooth at the same time. E you know, even though I. very yeah wow second place I'll take it <laughs> yes okay this is a completely different game from jet moto 2 I I completely understand why I can't get a clear answer I don't think this is I don't think this is, like, better or worse. It's just very, very different. Which would certainly result in someone saying this game is crap or this game is awesome. I understand the price tag now. Uh, this one was 10. Uh, Jet Moto 2 was 7. By the way, I didn't watch all of last night's stream. Speaking of crap or awesome... What happened to shifters? Um, I died, and then it asked me to load my save game, which I did not have. Oh, so it was crap. Okay. <laughs> I want to go back to it, though. I want to, I want to see what happens to Gimpy Sex Jester. Good. God. Oh, oh jeez. Oh dear. Oh, oh, uh-oh. 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 I was jumping the wrong way. You were going too fast. Uh, going too fast? I just... The jumps went straight up and they sent me in directions I didn't want to go like that. Hello, wall. Oh no. Oh no, What's this the stage with all of its vertical jumps. No, no, Jell, it's not a vertical jump. There was a place you had to go, and you were going so fast that you went into the wall, and it threw you into the air. Right, the vertical jump. Oh, no, it's only become a vertical jump because you're boosting off of everything like a retard. <laughs> what, no, what like a vertical jumper. <sighs> retard is offensive. Which is why I use it. No, no, we have to call them vertical jumpers. Oh, God! Oh, wow, it blew up! <laughs> I didn't know they could blow up! It wouldn't Apparently. have blown up if I went faster. Wow, that was a turn I made. I'm not sure if, <laughs> I'm not sure if anything anymore. This course is a little complicated. But I think if I just keep going fast, then I victory is assured. Assured, I tell you. <laughs> I don't know what's worse, watching the the world just zoom by at speed so fast the stream can't quite handle it, or listening to you laugh like Caesar Romero. What, what what the fuck am I vertical jumping off of? Stupid invisible <laughs> vertical jumps. Okay, that was better. That was be oh wow, you're you're actually getting it this time. You're, I'm in you're... first place, yeah. Vertical yes. jumping. Ah, <laughs> oh, jeez, I'm out of boost. <laughs> More boost. I have a boost addiction. <laughs> I want to see a speed run of this game. Oh lord, I wish this had online multiplayer. <laughs> Just oh. Someone needs to build a racing game based on on what I'm doing here. Just ah, uh, but the PlayStation was in an idyllic time before online multiplayer. Yep. 
Blowing up, and is this a shortcut? Good, it's shortcut now. I don't even know what's going on anymore. Neither do I. Actually, no, I know what's going on. I'm going fast, and that's what's important. Racing games are about going fast, and when you go fast, you win. You just gotta go fast, like Sanic. You are too slow. Uh, you're right, I am. I should boost. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, my God. You know, I will, I will say this game looks really good for what it is. Yeah, especially because the official description of why these people were chosen to make the game was they're local and they're cheap. That's like an official quote from 989 Studios. They were local and they were cheap. Dude, you don't pick designers in the same way you pick escort services. That's something you want to say about an escort service, not not a design studio. See, I was going to say a pizza place, but we'll go with escort services. Same thing. Oh, I tried to actually use shortcuts and it didn't work out for me. Hmm. Ah, I, should, I shouldn't use shortcuts, I should use go fast. Third place. <laughs> Dan fan has arrived and he says what? Dan, this is Jet Moto 3. I haven't updated the game, but um. The, apparently welcome, you go fast. Welcome to Gel Stream of Consciousness, Gel Goes Fast Edition. I think I won. Unless there's another race. Yes, I won! Yay! Doritos wins! Whoa, my god! That rack! Congratulations, you've passed the novice season! Now try the semi-pro season! Ooh, that is a tempting offer. I'm gonna save at the very least. That's, uh... That, uh... <laughs> that was actually surprisingly not shit. Yeah, yeah! I'm interested to see what the unreleased one is like. Options... Audio controller... Race? AI difficulty. Stunt Oh! This game has stunts! I bet those get me more speed. I had to learn how to actually play this game. I would, that might be a good idea. First player. Well, what is your story? With a careless disregard for other racers, Bomber takes control of races early. Not give up on the master mechanic. Bomber has one of the most menacing bikes on the circuit, and is not afraid of aggression. Other bike coming up hard. If you know you're swimming in a pit of lava. Okay, whatever. That says all of nothing. I'd like to figure out how to save. I, I saw a save option while I was in the middle of things. If I select load, does that let me save? I load. I wonder if there's... Maybe there's nothing to save. Wait, no, no, there is something to save because I made it to semi-pro. Whatever, okay, I will just... I will just save after starting semi-pro. Season. I'm, I'm going to continue this adventure. I gotta know. Mm. 
I have to... I guess I have to beat a race for it to let me save or something. I'll check the instruction book. How do... saving... Setting up... setting options... Pausing the game... Saving a season. Okay, I guess it's just season. I'm gonna check. Page 8? You can save your progress after every race in season mode. Okay, yeah, no, you can only save, uh... That is a dumb design choice. You can only save after winning a race. Cannot save from the main menu. So that means I gotta go fast! So that way I can save fast! Ooh, yeah, dig it! Oh! What the hell? See, last time I did this course, I didn't know that I had a boost button. Now I do. Now you're just gonna break the laws of physics all night. Well, not all night. I'm just switching to the Xbox One and I'm gonna play Carve. Carve? Carve. It is the, like, one expert. Original Xbox, excuse me, is the one original Xbox exclusive uh, jet ski game. And I'm kind of interested in it now. Like, I was just looking at it because I'm like, I'm going to play all the jet ski games. And, but this one, I looked at the teams, and inexplicably, the teams are all elementally based. I don't know why, but they're like, yes, yes, here's the wind team, and the earth team, and the fire team, and the water team. Oh, jeez! Oh jeez, I'm in the air! And I'm waving like I just don't care! <laughs> oh! Wow, these vertical jumps! Woo! -hoo -hoo! Yeah! That's how we do it! Ow! <laughs> and that's not how we do it. I just need to go faster. Whoa! Hello, Texture Maps! How are you doing this evening? Mm. Woohoo! Start! There goes my boost! I got boost power! Woo! <laughs> Holy God! What? You're, you're not even using a strategy, you're just going fast! <laughs> Gotta go fast! No, the strategy is in figuring out where the fuck you should even steer because you're staring at a wall. I mean, a vertical jump. <laughs> now I understand vertical jumps. Okay. <laughs> you, you are, you are ridiculous. That's ow! Oh, dang it! I'm only in second. It looks like the AI got better. They learned that there's this boost button, and you press it, and you go fast, which is how you win. They have learned racing games. Oh yeah, there. I keep forgetting that. I'm, there's supposed to be this the, the grapple point mechanic. I just saw that guy do the grapples. Hold on a second. Oh yeah, yeah. You get that thing. Oh jeez, I fell down in third place. Now oh, maybe it'll let me save. Save. Accessing memory card slot one. Ah, memory card and memory card slot one is full. Insert another memory card. Yeah, you should do that before that. Others oh, assign slots. There we go. Uh, one that should do that. Okay, am I back? You 
you are back. Okay, yeah, sorry, I had to do something. I'm, I'm here. It's all good. So I muted my, my mic, and now I'm back, and you saved, and... Hopefully. Accessing. Save. Uh, save, please. Saving. Do not remove memory card. Save, complete. Let's try not to exit. Yay! I have, I have saved the game. Now we can find out what the deal is with this carve game. So that means I have to click... That! And, uh, plug a thing in. Once system. more, she is a helicopter. She is a helicopter. I finally, like, found that scene. I don't even know why I have that gif, but I finally found that scene. Oh, now I do, because it's from the... It's, it's from that anime where everyone's named after rappers. So, I... It's such a pity you can't hear a disapproving expression, but... <laughs> oh, ball dicks. Uh, looks like this friggin' plug got bent. I'm gonna need to get some pliers. Be back in a second. I think we're alone now. There's a million reasons why I can't believe it. A million reasons why it can't be true. Okay, I'm back. I've it's the stupid blue plug that got bent. Da -da -da, there we are. And just grab that and be like, hey. But you like be bent in the right way. That bent way too easy. Then again, this is a very off-brand Xbox component cable. Well, we just have to remember, Joe. Mm. The most important thing that jet fuel can't melt steel beams. But it can apparently inspire really catchy uh, show tunes. It can inspire really catchy show tunes. And I bet you Jet Motos could melt steel beams. Jet Motos. Well, you were you were melting some steel beams there, but there we go. You were breaking the sound barrier. You you were just like. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go so fast that I'll liquefy internal organs. I, I don't even care. Yeah. Liquefy. I think liquid moves faster than solid objects. So if I can go fast enough to become liquid, then I win. <laughs> Top-tier racing strats! Uh, <laughs> get the sort of thing somebody obsessed with slimes would come up with! <laughs> oh, God! Oh, I had... Oh, good thing that it asked me for what time it was. I had Tao Fang in there still. That was a close one. It's dangerous to play Tao Fang. That's, uh... <laughs> what Tao Fang? One of the worst fighting games ever made from, uh... John Tobias. Oh, that thing. Yes, 
that thing. Right, I remember now. And here I thought one of the worst fighting games of all time was Kakudo Kojin. No, no, that's actually mediocre. I know, I'm joking. Yeah, yeah, no, no. Although it was weird, like, somehow Tao Feng and Kakuto Chojin, they're like... I remember thinking that Tao Feng was supposed to be a sequel to Kakuto Chojin, even though they were announced at, like, the same time. I don't know why. Anyway, this is from Argonaut, which are the people that helped develop the Super FX chip and Star Fox, and then they made Croc Legend of Gabos. And, uh... Malice was their last game when they were passed around between, like, five different companies. Malice was not made. It was salvaged. Ma they made a thing that got salvaged. But yes, generally speaking, Malice was not made. It was salvaged. No, they made a thing. This thing was not released. Then, this thing was shopped around eight, three other studios. And then, it was released. Well, that was a th it wasn't actually shopped around. They were, like, sold to a bunch of different studios. And the reason it wasn't released was because, like, one of the studios they wound up with, Sierra, um, was like, oh yeah, let's get Gwen Stefani to do the main character's voice. Oh, by the way, redo the entire game, it's too hard. Yeah, that's what happened. Interesting choice of music. Okay. Let's uh, see what we got. Was this an early Xbox title, you say? Because I don't I've never heard of it. It's the kind that slips under the radar easily. Um no, it's not early, and I can tell because when I look at it, it shows a uh, It shows the the smaller controller. I've got another one that uses the large controller, but let's choose quick race. I remember the larger controller, the uh, the the one the one where Xbox was like, nah, it's fine, everyone likes it, and everyone was like, no, we hate it, it's too large and it hurts our hands, and uh, they were like, nah, everyone likes it, we did studies and everything, and people were like, what the fuck, seriously, we hate this. Yep. Microsoft was like, puny mortals, we are Microsoft, we control the world, and then. Nobody bought the Xbox, so then they brought it out with the Type S controller, and everyone was happy, except for the fact that everyone owns an Xbox now. <laughs> Not everyone owns an Xbox still. Okay, you're up. We got one of the Water Girls. Let's see what happens. This looks like something. I should check. What are basic controls? Accelerate, tricks, camera, look. Double rush! Okay. Good, we've, we have a double accelerator in here. Hot tip, go left or yellow, right of red buoys. Yo, it'd be nice if, uh... Hot tip, if you're riding on the race of Jet Trail, the wire is turbulent. Oh, this is the inverse of how Jet X2O works! Here you don't want to race behind people. But yay, we've got fancy water effects. That's always uh, something. Oh, good, good, good. We do have a thing that shows us which direction it wants us to go with the buoys. And how sharp the turn is going to be. I kind of like that. That's actually informative. Yes. Yeah, this apparently had uh, online play as well. It's got an Xbox Live logo on it. Going pretty fast. I don't know, after, after what happened with Jet Moto 3, everything's going to feel slow now. Everything's yeah, going to feel slow. Actually, actually, um, a long time ago, back when I, back when they were still making Dreamcast games, ugh, that was a long time ago, um, I had been playing, I'd spent like a month in the hole with uh, Virtual On or Atari Tangram. To the point where I was beginning to go insane, and I, I picked up new games just so I could stop playing Virtual On. And one of the games I picked up was Tech Romancer. 
Mm. Now, now let's stop for a second. I like tech, tech Romancer. I liked it back then. I'd probably still like it if I played it today. I definitely think it has problems, but it's fun as hell. Oh, and geez. Really oh, shit. Gel, you're going fast. Yeah. Uh, I, okay, apparently doing tricks makes you go fast. Gotcha. So I really need to hit those trick things so I can go fast. Well, anyway, uh, like I was saying, I like that game. I like it a lot. I probably still like it, even though I confess it definitely has problems. But it's fun, and that's all that really matters. But I remember after popping it in, my first thought was, something's wrong. The game is moving in slow motion. <laughs> then I realized, oh, wait, no. I've just spent a month watching a game that ran at 60 frames per second. Okay. I, I thought it said that B was my tricks, but apparently B is not my tricks. I'm supposed to tap X and Y in crazy ways. Something. I need to figure out how these tricks work. I want to go fast again. I have this meter that says double rush, and I would like to use it. Oh, hey, music's vocal. Wacky. You barely have it turned down so it's not like coming through on the mic. This will be interesting to listen to later. I'm, I'm liking the, the way it looks. One of the nice things about the Xbox uh, original in retrospect is that it, uh, it very much supported, uh, uh, supported, um, Words, but I'm trying to color. Drive. Well, not just color. Color was nice. Did support color. That is a nice thing. Um, but it was actually like in HD in some games. Like there are. There's very few of them, but there are a few 1080p original Xbox games. There's like three or five of them. Um, Basic controls. B is to... Oh, do I hold B and then hit directions? Is that it? B left, right, maybe? I'll try that next. Yes! And for some reason, we're spelling Rush. Because... Because Rush is a really awesome band. See, I was thinking San Francisco Rush. No. Living in the limelight, the universal dream. Uh, no, no. Uh, <laughs> I, I can't sing, so I should probably not attempt it. Yeah, yeah, that's dangerous. I placed first, though. No, no, my singing is not dangerous. One of my ex-girlfriends, every time she sang, the paint peeled... Windows shattered, foundations cracked, and birds fell from the sky mid-flight. Happens sometimes. Character select. Let's try one of the other characters. She also liked to sing anime opening themes, so it was doubly horrific. Oh yeah. Look down. Okay, so they're only giving me two courses to like do things. Gameplay off. Weather, random, sunny, or sunset. Nice. Engine power, rookie. Change number of laps, don't change one lap. Okay, interesting, interesting. Um, how do I make progress? Tricks. New courses, fresh tricks. Some cheats. Interesting. I'm just going to do one more arcade race and then switch to the next one, but this is actually pretty nice. Yeah, we, we got we to gotta, we gotta go back to this one, because this one's actually not terrible. Yeah, yeah, this is... This is pretty slow. This is... I'm... I'm, I'm, I'm kind of digging this. This, this, actually, this actually looks like a nice... Nice happy medium between a lot of the other jet ski games we've seen so far. Yeah? Uh, let you go fast, but not like crackhead speeds fast. 
tricks has tricks and actually rewards them. Wants you to uh, solemn around the uh, around the uh, buoys, but tells you how. <laughs> By the way, you're going to crash. Bonk. <laughs> Hot tip: You're crashing. You are having an accident. The hell I am. I don't know why everybody hates iRobot. I know it's because it was a Will Smith movie and had nothing to do with uh, Isaac Asimov, but I, I I thought that movie was hilarious for all the wrong reasons. Anyway. Oh, I thought uh, Dragon Ball Evolution was hilarious for all the wrong reasons. You know, I've softened to that movie considerably. I still say it is the best bad movie ever made. Just, but you can't watch it alone. It's the kind of thing you really should watch with friends. With no, no, Dragon actually, Ball. Gel, actually, Gel, Wolf Cop is the best bad movie ever made. Though Dragon Ball Evolution definitely is a contender. Wolf Cop. Well, okay, Wolf Cop's not fair because it was made to be so uh, hokey on purpose, but... If you still have a Netflix account, look up Wolf Cop. You will either hate me a little or hate me a lot. In any case, my work is done. And and those of you out there at home, if you have Netflix accounts, uh, look them up. Unless you're underage, in which case you can still look it up, but I don't condone your actions. Don't blame me. Remember, I didn't make you do anything, I just made suggestions. Handstand, one-hander. Yeah, thus far, honestly, thus far, I haven't really disliked any of the, uh... Any of the jet ski games I've played. Like, Jet X2O is the closest, and I do really want to get back to that. Um, I've been going back to it, but yeah, that course. I would just... spend more time on this. This is. This is actually pretty. Not yeah. bad. Yeah. Looks kind of fun. Moves pretty fast. Uh, decently diverse and interesting looking environments. Yeah. Not as fantastical as Jet Moto, but what is? Yeah, yeah. No, no, th this has a lot going for it, but then again, I get the feeling there were a lot of uh, early-ish Xbox titles that had a lot going for them that, for some reason or another, didn't get any activity whatsoever. Honestly, I've been thinking about doing an episode on exactly that. Because, yeah, the Xbox, a bunch of games came out for it. Honestly, a sizable number of exclusives just due to the way development on it was. But not a lot of people played them because a lot of the folks who played Xbox, it was either PC ports that they played or, you know, Halo. That a lot of people who actually, and everyone else that would have been interested in a game like, say, Carve, probably didn't own an Xbox or give it the time of day, myself slightly included. But I know that a lot of people, you know, when they, they don't, most folks don't talk about classic original Xbox games. In fact, DanFan was just complaining about that earlier. How there's like I, no real memorable original Xbox games that everyone talks about. And... What really skewered that, like, extra hard was when the 360 came out and the Xbox brand was becoming acceptable, the backwards compatibility sucked, and basically any game worth playing on the original Xbox didn't work. You were going to say something? Uh... I was about to say, you're right, most of the games that I would have been looking for in terms of uh, 
Xbox exclusives were games I would have instead looked for on the PlayStation 2 because the Xbox was pretty much the first-person shooter and racing game system. Yep. Now, speaking of which, time to switch games. I'm very amused that this next one exists. I have no clue if our audio is still coming tr through, and that's why I waited. There we go. Hopefully we still have a feed of that. But, uh, I was talking about, if you remember, part of what caused me to go into this, uh, jet ski-based frenzy was playing a snowmobile game and thinking about it being like, uh, wanting to play something like that, but like Hydro Thunder. Well, then I found out this game existed, and I laughed. Also, this one was released, uh early Xbox because it has a picture of the Duke controller on it. Oh, wow, yeah, and the back of the box doesn't say anything about supporting 480p and stuff. Yeah, look at that! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Did it, did it lock up at the... Is the disc all scratched and shit? Ball dicks. Reset! I just have to skip the Midway logo, hopefully. But yes! Arctic Thunder! Actually, I don't know. Yeah, I should still come to Arctic Thunder. They honestly made Hydro Thunder with snowmobiles. I'm familiar with it. I was not. I forgot it existed. I also know that it involves missiles. So, I'm pretty cool with that, too. Though it's... Oh, that looks fugly. Arctic Thunder. Start, I guess. Arcade. One player. Done. Do like the fact that it supports four. Select your player. Agent five. My Xiaolin. Dirty McCurdy. Okay. And yes, Dan. Art Dick Thunder. Willie Quinn. Ponzo! There is a monkey. There is a monkey on a jet ski. Er, thing. Candy Ice. Uh-huh. I guess I will go with my Jawa. Good choice. Select your Himalayan City, Chernobyl Meltdown, Blizzard in DC, Swiss Alps, Haunted Forest, Alaskan Pipeline. I'm pretty interested in this Chernobyl Meltdown stage. Chernobyl Meltdown. Yeah, this looks like it will be uh, culturally sensitive. Exactly. I want to know if there's actually going to be a meltdown while I race. I, I got my fingers crossed. Three, two, oh, jeez. Oh, whoa. Okay, I screwed that up. I, okay, what is my go button? Okay, A is my go button. R is my... Oh, shoot. And if I don't have a weapon, I can punch. I, I approve of... Uh, I approve of punching. Then this is a trick thing. I don't know how tricks work in the game. Okay, not the best looking, but I'm I'm already I'm already pretty approving of this because this is uh It has the midway racer feel. I don't I remember not liking the midway racer feel. There's a submarine surfacing in the middle of the race, breaking up the track. That is a very good sign. That is a very good sign. Whoa! Woo! -hoo, woo! -hoo, woo! -hoo. Yes! Yes! Okay, we got speed. Whoa! Atomic snowball! Yes! 
Yes, I approve of this. Oh! Now we're just jumping over toxic waste, because that's how snowmobiles work, you see. They are totally also jet skis as long as it's toxic waste. <laughs> yes! 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 I am praised! Oh, jeez! Don't fall off. Uh, we've got guardrails. Not that they matter to me. And there is a meltdown and things are exploding. Yes. Good. 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 Okay. I like this. I like this. I'm happy with this. This has made me happy. I go fast and things go boom and... All the way, apparently. We're on a race. New track. Where else we gone? Lost Himalayan City, fly. Chernobyl Meltdown, Blizzard in DC. Oh, well, Blizzard in DC. Blizzard in DC. Which I kick other characters by pressing the attack button. Yes! Punching people while going fast on exploding stages. With jet skis that have rockets, also missiles. Yes, 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 a million times yes. I'm Woo! just uh, speechless, so don't mind me. <laughs> I was wondering. It's like, are you just are you, are you just looking things up on the internet <laughs> or what? No. I'm 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 watching you. I'm also uh ah, damn. I'm I'm also I'm also kind of sheepishly uh poking my head into uh S Sega's latest uh pants on head uh retardation moment. Oh lord, what they do. It's more what they didn't do, but you know how they made this flagrant ripoff of uh, Puzzle and Dragons Puyo Puyo Quest? Yeah. Well, um, smart money, and I, I'm pretty sure there's someone out there with a business degree who will tell me why I'm absolutely wrong about this, but just hear me out. Smart money would hold, get a nice, inexpensive translation on that game, Bring it over as a Puyo Puyo game. People will buy it because it's a Sega game. People remember Puyo Puyo. So they'll, well, not buy it, but they'll play it. And it's free to play, and people will fucking free to play anything. Okay? You know, you're with me? Of course, I said smart money in the same sentence as Sega. Sega doesn't know anything about smart money. Sega doesn't know anything about money or being smart. What do they do instead? Spend money on a new um, IP. Uh, cranky food friends. Look it up sometime. It's fucking horrific. Is it a reskin of Puyo Puyo Quest? Uh, that's the truly horrible part. It looks a lot like they absolutely did. Just. Initial. Well, reskin might be the wrong word, but it definitely looks like they used the same shell and. Uh, even very similar um, layouts, the menu is the same. It's like, why did you bother trying to create a new IP when you had an existing IP that you fucking own? That's a very good question. I I mean I mean and and the the argument and a old friend of yours and mine I won't say his name just in case he's listening. I, I doubt he would be, but. I'll tell you later, and you you will remember who he is. Um, oh, yeah, probably. I already have money on who it is. But anyway, this guy, and yeah, diehard Puyo Puyo fan, so you probably already remember who it is. But but this guy is one of a number of people who's been uh, really championing the argument that Sega was right to not release Puyo Puyo Quest in the U.S. because in the West, really, because. Puyo Puyo has never been popular in the West. It's never sold well, and uh, you know, we're we're fans. We may not like it, but 
you know, why should Sega release a property that's not going to sell? And I was like, my response is generally, yeah, but how can a property sell if it's not marketed? Yeah. Also, I found that double tapping the accelerator lets me do a wheelie, which I guess lets me jump sometimes. I don't know. But I, I have a, I can, I can do wheelies. But yeah, and no, yeah, I'm, I'm just, um, I'm just, I'm just watching this, and uh, it's a, it's a midway racer. What were you gonna say? I was gonna say that there's a Frankenstein monster. Um, no, no. Uh, I was gonna say that it's true that Puyo Puyo hasn't been uh, particularly popular in the West. But, yeah, it's because there haven't been enough releases that are, like, pure Puyo Puyo that they aren't, like, messing with. I don't like the fact that every time they feel a need to mess with it. And, uh... Well, the, the, um... What was it? Puyo 15th Anniversary, Puyo 7th, and I think there was another one, uh, before Puyo Puyo Tetris. Um... Those were actually rather, at least one of them, I think it was 7th, had a uh, classic mode, which was basically Puyo Puyo 2. Uh, but, you know, they, they... Yeah, but none of those were released in America. No, no, well, I was about to say, none of those were released in America. Nothing after Fever DS was released in America. Exactly. Um, and... It's. I understand how economics work. I understand how uh, capitalism works. If if something's not going to sell, why should they release it? But if you don't release it, how can it sell? Now, see, if you ask me, if you ask me, would it have been much easier to use the existing IP you already have, and if it catches on, that would free you up to use the merchandise you already have to push the brand you already have. Instead of betting the farm on a new franchise property that, that just... Uh, you know what? It's, it's Sega. It's fucking Sega. Sega are the people who... who rather... who rather than name their new Shining Force game, Shining Arc, something else, rather than bank on the fact that people will be able to tell the difference between Shining Arc and the their Saturn title, Shining the Holy Arc, decide to abuse the YouTube, uh, YouTube, uh, fla uh, you know, flagging system and just take down everyone who had a Shining the Holy Arc video on YouTube. I'm only familiar with this because one of the person, one of the people who had a full walkthrough, was Total Biscuit, whose channel was taken down temporarily. Huh. Uh, by temporarily, I mean a day, because he was with Polaris, and you know, you heard the sound of Polaris's zipper getting undone, and uh, y uh, YouTube was like. <laughs> but um, but wow. other people weren't so lucky. <laughs> you went places with that one. <laughs> I'm just saying. I, I'm just saying. <laughs> but you know, you know something. YouTube. I'm not a big fan of YouTube anymore. I, I, I still use it, but I have not really been a fan of YouTube for a very long time. Uh, and and indeed. The more I learn about Google, the more I learn about Google, the more I understand what um, YouTube, how YouTube works. Because, see, for the longest time, for the longest time, uh, Google claimed that its motto was, don't be evil. Mm -hmm. But now we're seeing that this is all bullshit like just pure grade a bullshit so i amend that as don't be evil at least until you're at the point where uh you control everything and nobody can live without you <laughs> i 
Oh wow, I need a lot more to do that. Okay. Player one. I'm I'm just but I'm just saying part of the reason why Total Biscuit got it overturned so quickly is because he had a network pushing for him. Uh-huh. Yes. This is very true. Everyone else. Uh, so th that explains a lot. Yeah, because I remember. Uh, I remember Total Biscuit was like, I'm never giving Sega the time of day again because of this. He. I. It's been a couple of years, and uh, it hasn't come up recently because Sega's done very little of note. Yeah. But, but back when they were doing things of note, he was like, Oh, yes, it's lovely. I'm sure it'll be a great game. I'll never play it because I'm still boycotting Sega for what they did. And and that's... That's... That's, that's Total Biscuit for you. Dude... Dude is salty. Dude makes... Dude makes... Dude makes uh, Utah salt flats look less salty. It's just like, it's just like, he, guys, guys got, guys got more salt than a movie theater. I just, damn. I, I, I honestly wish I had thought to build a career off of being salty like he did. But I'm not British, so I doubt it. Yeah, I doubt it. Able to gotta make be it work. British. Yeah, yeah. Because, because even fucking. What is his name? Jim Sterling? I, I prefer to think of him as not Bob, but... Not Bob. It's true. Uh, but, but, but even fucking Jim Sterling. Oh, wait, that's it. Movie Bob is a failed clone of Jim Sterling. <laughs> Emphasis on failed. I don't know, so, uh, yet somehow... I don't, even, I don't even know sometimes with Movie Bob. I still... I still like him because I sympathize with him, and there are three of the same racer in this race. Okay. Yeah, I'm just I'm just watching this, and I will emphasize again, it's a midway racer. It is the midwayest. Oh wow, that that certainly happened. Um, got some points from that. Yeah, I should have been playing points mode from the beginning, so that way I could earn the points to unlock things. Either way. I'm I am pleased with the Arctic Thunder. I'm very pleased with this. Um Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, no, yeah, no. Yeah, that's that's good. Uh let's see, what else do I have in my bag? I think it's time to switch to the uh PS2 because the Dreamcast will be a little tricky to hook up. Yeah, I found out there was a jet ski game on Dreamcast that I had never heard of. So I went out and got it. It's called Surf Rocket Racers. Could be decent. Sounds vaguely familiar. Yeah, it had a different name in Japan. And the fact that it was a Japanese-made uh, jet ski game makes me even more intrigued. Because, come to think of it, there aren't a lot of jet Japanese-made jet ski games. But, yeah, no, no. I, I, I don't know what it is. But in the Western market, if you have a British accent, that's usually a license to go far. Especially if you have a British accent, are extremely... Extremely uh, antisocial or even misanthropic, and generally salty about everything, which is why I think, which is why I think Jim Sterling is so full of shit that Charmin has a truck following him around in the off chance he accidentally breaks open, and yet somehow he still manages to be taken seriously. Hmm? I know some people like... Sometimes he says things that work. I'm... And the other 90% of the time, he's uh, backing up social justice warriors. Try not to bring that up too often in the stream. I, I try to, at least. Just for the sake of... Sake of happy. Think happy thoughts. Happy go-fast thoughts. Joe... If it's because you don't want me to offend your friends... No, it's because I want people to be able to relax and not have to think about that for a hot minute. <sighs> you can't hide your face from the world. We, we spent years ignoring them, hoping they'd go away. They didn't. 
You know what's but really okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know what's really weird is the fact that there's no audio here, though. Maybe that's because the disc is messed up. Anyway, this is a good time, uh... Because it's time to go switch to PS2, because I want to know more about this goofy racing game I've got planned next. So, one second while I hook that up. Alright, now I just gotta change the plugs. Where is the plugs that I Am need? I still here? You seem to still be here. Okay, okay, good, good. Um, what happened? Uh, oh. No, 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 no. Just speaking of things that are salty, I needed more water. Ah! Gotcha. Oh, and uh, I, I just happened to uh, <laughs> I just happened to alt tab over to the stream, and uh, Dan Fan has been making uh, classy comments in particular. Oh yeah, Dan Fan is the master of classy comments. Art Dick Thunder, Blizzard yeah, and ACDC. Art, Art Dick Thunder. Art Dick Thunder. I'm like that is just the epitome of classy. I love it. I like also, it. Also, The Room is the best worst movie. Okay, you know what? Well played. That's true. <laughs> that is... That is a, uh... That is now <laughs> a classic, and apparently Tommy Wiseau is going to start uh, his own TV series soon. Oh, wow. Um, hold on. Okay. Good. Good, good, good. Memory card is in. Everything is happy. Good times are being had. Well, he's AFK, but I can still talk. I've been eyeballing this game for a while and never got around to playing it. It's a uh, very different looking racer. It's called Kinetica. Okay, sorry about that. Had to pause for a second. It's cool, it's cool. So yeah, as I was just saying, uh, this is a game I've been eyeballing for a while. It's a kind of early PS2 game. Um, and I never got around to picking up. I think I played a demo and just didn't care much about it, but the, the box is always just staring at me. And it makes me wonder what, what it's like again. And it's this game called Kinetica. Which is some kind of racing game where people wear these weird, uh, wheel suits that you're seeing. It, uh, seems interesting. It's, uh, very interesting. I like the, I, I like the cover artwork. It sounds like it has a theme song thing. I'll just get started figure out how to play this thing. There we oh. go, wheel suits. That, because that makes perfect sense. It makes all the sense. Especially with a bikini bottom. Oh, those, you don't even have wheel hands, you have claws. Well, you have claws instead of wheel hands. I guess we'll be playing one player. Single race, season, practice race, uh, single race for now. Select character. Sarah. Ava. Vigor. Why does he get a motorcycle? What's up with that? Is he like... I think he's part motorcycle. Zia. Zidon. Razzo. Part, 
part man, part motorcycle, all fucked up. There are only... <laughs> okay, there are four girls and two dudes in the default roster. Interesting. Oh, those are the alternate colors. Does anyone else have a pink color? No, we're, we'll go with green on their alts. All right, we're going with her. I want to know how these uh, how these claws work. And yeah, we'll go with the Macropolis. Why not? I did not expect that they would like actually be different suits for everyone with the friggin' motorcycle centaur. Destroy centaur. Oh, sorry, no. There, there was a pinball table called Centaur, which uh, the Centaur was actually this, this. It was a dude. Was like. It was a. <laughs> it was a motorcycle dude. It was. It was a dude, with a motorcycle lower body. It's like. It's like. How do you design these things? So like the guy I'm racing. Yes. Very Pretty relevant. Much. Yeah, there he is. Pretty He's got much. a lower so motorcycle lower body. This is, yeah. It, okay, this is uh, interesting. We apparently cling to walls, and I'm I have going hot, the wrong way. I have hot pink steel undies. That's good. That's good. I consider that to be a good thing. Um, do I have? Tell me about the controls. Someone, someone explain. Oh, geez, I don't have an instruction book for this one. Balls. Okay. Uh, guess guess we're just going fast. It feels like there should be something more than just I have a, a suit. Like, I've got these claws in the front. It's like, what do the claws do? Can I attack with the claws? Okay, I just broke through that. Why not? Let's look behind me. It's, uh... It's person has uh, wheels for hands, I have claws for hands. That should mean something. Those are weird buzzsaw things. Uh, yeah, there's Motorcycle is... Centaur, man. Uh, this is making me kind of dizzy. <laughs> it, is, it is a little dizzy. It could just be that I'm kind of tired right now, but this is kind of making me dizzy. Kind of making me dizzy too. I'm uh, I'm not entirely certain what's going on anymore. Um, nothing, nothing else. This is we just we just go, huh? just go. I don't even have a. What the fuck? It just transformed and danced around. So there's got to be more to this. Maybe I need to be doing quarter circles or something. Can you feel this? Oh well. <laughs> I, I don't. I don't know why that came to my head. Yeah, probably because it brightens up your day. <laughs> I really hate Sonic R. <laughs> I like the music, and I played a lot of Sonic R, mostly for the music. I remember spending a lot of time. Okay, I've got something. I guess I need to collect the thing? The last lap. We've got these glowy orange shards. I just missed that. Okay, if I get one more glowy orange shard, that has to do something. I have a boost meter, but I don't know how to fill it. There is more going on here. Oh, jeez, I fell. Well, Christ. Saw the cars going sideways. It was a, a little interesting there. Good round. Oh, jeez, I missed that. I'm just missing all the shards. It's a problem. I'm, 
Ah, there's multiple layers to this track, and the higher layers have friggin' shards on them more frequently. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, oh, I'm on the ceiling. Oh jeez, I did not expect that flip. But now I have all the shards, and that gets me a... Something. Uh, I seem to do all of nothing. Oh no, now I've got things coming out of me, somehow. I, I need to research how this game works. Right now, all I have is just going, and I came in last place. I'm very clearly playing this game wrong. It's playing crazy music. You know what? I have a computer. It, it's streaming a thing. Game FAQs! Don't right. fail me now! Ah, oh, jeez. <laughs> it's midnight here. Uh, you gotta go? I gotta go. Okay, catch you later. I will wrap up the stream as I figure out how Kinetica works. All right. Catch Thank you. you later. Catch Not you later. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for having me and subjecting your viewers to me. <laughs> Siphon boost. Now, okay, wow, every button does something. And catch you all later. Circle is my siphon. Uh, if I have control settings. Do advanced controls. Ground stunts. Left, right, left. The game doesn't tell you exactly how to do stunts. Fills your boost me with give... Creates a combo which gives you more boost energy. The higher the combo, the more energy you get. Boost can have a... To eight tricks for the bonus. You don't receive a bonus for going higher than eight tricks. All the above your four cage the analog sticks. Um do hmm. right. Down, right, down. Oh, good lord, I was actually right! I actually had to do, uh... I had to do, uh... Friggin' Hadokens and quarter circles and stuff. Well, half circles, actually. Left, right, left. I'm not doing something right. Game FAQs, give me the pop up. Um, oh, I hold R1. I hold R1, then I type in inputs. Wow. Yeah, we do. Okay. Okay, that's how we do it. That's how we do it. We just, we just dance. Okay, okay, okay. This game just turned from into woo woo woo. Oh, if you keep it held down, you can keep doing things. Gotcha, gotcha. But as soon as you release, it cancels the trick. I get ya. Trick auto cancels as soon as you release, and you can't cash it out. Gotcha! Now I have a boost. I press circle to siphon boost, it said. I don't know why it's called a siphon boost, but okay. Circle? I heard circle was my siphon.
need to I need to remember to keep the button held down. I'm still learning how this works. Cash him out. Oh, oh! R2 Whoa! R2 is boost. I can boost at any time. Okay, okay, we're learning how this works. We're learning how this works. We are learning how this works. Oh, jeez! Oh, jeez, okay. Okay, this is a very unusual racing game, and not having an instruction book definitely hurts me on this one. All about I like the fact that you can just do tricks as you play. You do tricks and then you cash them out. And then that gets you boost. Oh, whoa, whoa. Whoa. Try spinning the other way. Yeah, it's a flip. Get two combo and I go the wrong way. Then boost. This game is weird, but I I have a butt in steel pink panties. I'm sorry, I can't I can't not like that. Now mind you, that would theoretically be very, very uncomfortable. So we can only assume that it's a very comfortable future metal. Uh, you know what else is uncomfortable? Falling from the sky. Okay, I'm learning the mechanics. I'm learning how to kinetic, kinetica, kinetica. Woo, woo. This is all about crazy, sexy trick racing. Oh, and then I face plant. And I bet everyone has their own tricks. And that's why the different suits map. Ah! I tried to Blanca Ball. I wish that these tricks were attacks. I wish I could attack with these tricks. Like, I I have claws. I should be able to, uh... I should be able to, like, slice people with them. Woo! Woohoo! Now we go fast. Now we go fast. Now is the time for fast going. <laughs> Woohoo! Yeah! And suddenly I'm in second place. And suddenly my boost is purple. Lessons are being learned. Lessons are very much being learned. Congratulations, you play second. Yay! Oh yeah, this was single race. I feel stupid. I should have chosen a different course. Anyway, now that we know how this works, is anyone still watching? I, it says I've got two watchers. I'm not sure how true that is. Do -do. Let's see. I'll go with one player. Still gonna do single race, but I want to know what the other racers are like. You've got wheel hands, you've got wheel hands, so you're like the Ryu and Ken. No, what? No, I need to know what the deal is with the motorcycle centaur. I actually need to play as him, at least for a minute. Ooh, Lost City, Electrica, Orbital Junction. Alright! At least for a minute, I want to know what the deal is with motorcycle centaur, and if he feels different. That came off a little wrong. This is this is so weird. Uh duh. He seriously is a motorcycle centaur. Yeah Yeah, the fact that this guy can't punch people is disappointing. Woo! Okay. That happened. He does have different tricks, but of course he does. He's, uh, 
built very differently from everyone else. Again, it's a motorcycle sound. It's just, it's just weird. Um. Woo! Whoop! Oh, Jesus! How am I going the wrong? Okay. Uh, that's enough of him. Go go Lost City with someone else. You know, there's something to be said <laughs> about these designs where literally every part of their body is protected except the butt. Except the butt. You got knee pads, you got boots, you got elbow pads, shoulder pads, chest pads, head pads, yo, helmets. But, but not the butt. Okay, everyone else has has wheel hands, except her. I guess they're the weird ones, except that's a weird spider mantis thing, which I'm very curious about. That looks like another motorcycle centaur. That looks like a monster. Interesting. Oh yeah, no, let's play Xenon. Xenon. Let's go to the Lost City. Lost City. Skid boost. Use brake during a turn to throw yourself into a controlled skid. Double tap the accelerator during the skid to get a quick boost forward. Hey, tips! This is why it would have been good to have an instruction book. It's a uh, very fascinating game. Three, three, two, two, one, one, yeah, yeah, no, okay, everyone does get different tricks. Everyone very much gets different tricks. Combo X2! And then I boost! And then I boost! Now that I understand some of the mechanics, at least. Oh yeah, and then you get a little, you get a boost. Yeah, yeah, okay. I don't know if I would be using that drift mechanic much, but it's there. Interesting. Wow! This is this has turned into a fluster clock. And I I am coming to a very strange realization. I remember some knucklehead insisted. Like, I know I said I would keep this kind of stuff out here, but some knucklehead wrote an article insisting that there were only, like, 14 playable black women in all of video games. Needless to say, he did not count Kinetica, or any of the racing games I've played, which I think every single one of them has a black woman in them as a selectable option. Usually the only female character that has to be unlocked. They do find that a little strange. Like, both Jet X2O and... Oh lord, what's the name of that other game? Okay. Figured out that L2 lets me do that, whatever that is. Now I'm in first place. Now we're doing good. Now that we know what we're doing, we're doing good. Do tricks. But, um... Woo! Okay. That was me trying to use the drift and failing at it. This is an interesting racer with interesting mechanics. Ugh. But I'm, I'm so cool with it now. It's remi it's no, it's not reminding me of Extreme G. It kind of wants to remind me of Extreme G, but it's not. But it's a weird racer. Oh, cool! It cues them up! So I can do... She'll just keep going until I release. So I, I'm buffering my combos! I'm combo buffering! This is a racing game where I'm combo buffering! I'd, li I'd just like y'all to recognize and appreciate that. But yeah, both Jet X2O and Splashdown uh, Rides Gone Wild. Um... Uh, 
you have to unlock the black girl in that. And then in... You know, obviously we had one in Carve. Super base. There was one in... Uh, there was definitely one in Jet Moto 2. I think there was one in Jet Moto 3. Obviously her. I'm just saying. That is, uh, that is, this is a... Character-based racing games are an overlooked genre to find characters in. Probably because they don't actually talk or do a whole lot. What does viewing the replay look like? Yes, it has crazy camera angles! I was hoping for that. Because when a racing game gives you cool camera angles, then, you know, when you watch the replay, then it's awesome. Watch me dance around! You know, I want to bring this back. I want someone to bring back this concept, except with a twist. I want it to be a, a rhythm-based racing game. Imagine if you were actually dancing for those stunts. Like, holding R1 brings up, like, a dance command tree, and you have to hit the buttons to the music while you race in order to get boost. That could work! I'm hearing the techno music here, and I mean, I am practically just dancing in here. Look, this is just this is nutty. Woo! <laughs> it's a nutty ass game. That is... Wow, okay. Freaking dance racer wheel. I should not have underestimated this. Any game that has designs this ridiculous. Everything is protected except the butt. They have something in mind. And this. I'm pleased. I am pleased. Very pleased with this. And, uh, yeah, yeah, no, that that about that about covers it. I don't have anyone else to uh, be a guest here. And, um, yeah, I, I, I don't have any other guests. And I've got two people watching as usual. So, I guess that's where we'll call the stream for tonight. I hope you have all enjoyed the wide variety of strange racing games that we have, uh, played. I've enjoyed literally every single one of them. Not one disappointed me, and none of them felt like clones. Jet Moto 2 felt different from Jet Moto 3, which felt different from uh, Carve, which felt different from Kinetica, which felt different from Arctic Thunder, which felt different from Jet X2O, which felt different from Splashdown Rides uh, Gone Wild. Every single one of these games has felt completely different and good and I I regret not supporting them back when they initially came out but then again I'm not I don't know, I guess I'm not like a big racing person but I uh, I enjoyed this you know I this is this is fun I like arcade style racers but back then there were just so many of them like all of these were like six bucks okay like very few of these cost much money like Jet Moto 3 and inexplicably Jet X2O cost the most money um all of these were six bucks and for six bucks I'm having a blast obviously I'm gonna go back and play some of these I'm, just, I'm actually going to keep playing Kinetica to check out the other characters and figure out how to unlock the secret characters and who knows what else I'm going to play but I have a feeling no one really wants to watch me just stream solo while I revisit old games. I, I don't know, maybe someone does somewhere out there but I think not to mention, I kind of want to see what, what Max is streaming. I want to watch a better streamer. I suck. <laughs> But I hope you have all enjoyed uh, this uh, stream of Strange Racing. 
Thank you all for coming. And I will catch you all, uh, catch you all in another stream. See ya.